Hey there, Jillian Kaplan here from JillianKaplan.com. And today I want to talk to you about how I stay motivated. I think one of the most important things in being your own boss is that you have to be consistent. You don't have anyone standing over your shoulder every single day telling you this is what you have to do, this is what you have to get done by this hour, this day, this week, this month. It is all on you to get your work done, right? So how do you stay motivated and, and how do you stay consistent? Because people ask me that all the time. They think that motivation is something you are born with. I totally disagree. I do not think it's something that you're born with. I think it's something that you work on and learn over time because I'm not always motivated now more so than I ever was. I definitely am more motivated, but I wasn't always like that. And I think that people in my life that have known me a long time will probably tell you that. So I'm going to peek over at my notes here because I just think this one is super important. I don't want to miss anything. So the first thing I want you to think about when you're working to stay motivated, I'm going to give you my top five tips, um, is why did you decide to join? What is it that made you want to join this company over another company or want to be a part of this company at all or want to start your own business at all? Why, 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 why? Why did you join? Think about that. Think about that for your own motivation. Was it to help people? Was it to change lives? Was it to make people's lives easier? Was it to um, help people get out of debt? What was the reason that you decided to join? The second thing I want you to think about is the alternative. So what I mean by that is, you know, what would happen if you decided that you weren't going to work this business anymore? right? What would happen? Would you have to put a lot more stuff on credit cards? Would you have to go back to work? Would you have to put your kids in daycare? What would happen if you decided that you weren't going to try and do this anymore, that you were just going to give up? What's the alternative to making this business work and being your own boss? That really helps you keep me motivated to understand what I would have to do if I decided to leave this business. The third thing I'm gonna tell you is a lot of people would say it's your why, your deep down why, your tangible why, but I'm gonna disagree with that. And I'm gonna say it's more of your vision. Has anyone ever heard of a vision board? Um, basically, it's you know what you see your life looking like in the future, you know, whether it's um, a car or a house or intangible things like um, being at home with your kids, you know, that sort of stuff. It's, it's a vision for how you envision yourself as a person and your life and how you see things panning out for you with this business. You have to remember that vision and sort of keep driving towards that. Maybe you're a student and you don't want to have to get a part-time job. You know, that part of your vision is being financially free. That's amazing. And that's a great reason to help keep you motivated. Um, the fourth thing I'm going to tell you guys to do is to find a mentor. And maybe your upline is amazing. And they help you every single step of the way. And you really see them as a mentor. And that's great. Like, I think there are amazing uplines out there that will help you every step of the way and answer every single question for you. But... I also think that if you don't have that amazing upline, it is not a reason to not be successful. So you are responsible for your own success. Your upline can certainly help you. I'm not saying that people that don't have a helpful upline aren't at an advantage because it's quite possible they may be. But there are plenty of people out there that don't have a helpful upline that have been successful and there are plenty of people out there that have a helpful upline that haven't been successful. That motivation needs to come from you and you need to find a mentor, whether it's your upline or someone else, that's gonna set that example and really help you and you're gonna listen to them. You're not just gonna hear what they're saying, but you're actually gonna listen and take their advice. And the last thing, which I feel like is probably the most important for me, is surrounding yourself with good people, with good, positive people. I don't know if you guys have watched my other videos before, but I've done lots of videos on haters. There are so many haters out there. And if you surround yourself with people like that, with people that are constantly you know, hating on you and hating on what you're doing, you're going to get that negative mindset again. 
and you're not going to be able to stay motivated because all you're going to think about is, you know, Sally didn't like that post or, you know, Bob told me that this business is stupid. You've got to surround yourself with people who are going to lift you up, not break you down. So I hope you found value in this. Um, you can feel free to drop a comment or share it out. Um, but this is my top five tips for how to keep you motivated and really rocking your at-home business. Talk to y'all later. Bye.